because it's just going to get better from here. For today guys, I have a juicy video about fashion trends that need to stop, just leave, or honestly guys, just like, buy, like just buy, buy, die, whatever, I don't care. Guys, disclaimer, this is my personal opinion, I don't mean to offend anyone, for those who like these trendy pieces, you do you, but for me personally, I am just not a fan, and today I'm going to be expressing my feelings about these pieces. If I forgot anything that you guys think need to stop, leave them down below and if you agree with some of my trends guys, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. For the first trend guys, I know these are worn by a lot of people of all ages and they were, they're not really a new trend but people still, still wear them and that is Crocs. Guys. I hate Crocs. I hate all types of Crocs. The bright colored lime green one, those blue ones, and then the cherry on top of those ugly shoes is those little like pins that you can put in them. Like they're already, already obnoxiously ugly, and then to make them uglier, we have those pins to put in them. Like hello? They go with nothing. And do I, can I mention that they're not even safe shoes to wear outside? Like, I get it, some people wear them indoors, like, whatever. But when going to wear them outside, they're made out of rubber and, like, plastic and whatever else they're made out of. If a nail just goes right through them, game over, guys. Like, you're you're done. The $50 or $60 you paid for those ugly shoes, garbage. Like, that nails through your foot and, mm, nope. From the first day those came out years ago till now when I still see people wearing them, it just, I get so, like, I just get disgusted. Like, I hate those shoes so much. And like guys, like for kids, like having them on kids is really cute indoors again because I don't really think they should be worn outside. But like when I see like grown people wearing Crocs, I'm just like, eee. like something needs to change here. Personally, I just not a fan. Never was, never will be. Just no. For the second item, guys, and these just came out I think about a year or ish ago and I still see people wearing them. They're all over like all these trendy websites and like fashion vlogs and blogs and all that stuff. It's those nylon socks, like those see-through nylon socks and they're sheer and some of them have like patterns on them and like stars and sparkles. Guys, honestly, they serve no purpose at all. Like, you're supposed to wear socks to keep your feet warm, but hello, these are thinner than paper. They do nothing. They don't keep your feet warm. If your shoes are dirty or you step in a puddle and it goes in your shoe, like the water goes in your shoe, those so-called stylish socks, it's going to go right through. Like, it's better if you don't wear socks at all at that point because your feet are still going to stink and your feet are still going to get dirty. And honestly, like, even for pictures, they're not that cute. They just look dumb. Like, not gonna lie guys, nah, not a fan. Another fashion trend, guys, that has been everywhere. It's all over Instagram, it's all over these like fashion magazines that I just can't wrap my head around. And also, I can't wrap my head around how expensive they are too. Guys, those little purses that are maybe about this big, that people are like carrying around like they literally don't fit anything you can't fit your phone you can't fit your car keys can't it can barely even fit a credit card like what is the purpose of these dumb bags like even carrying them is a pain like how you you're gonna put one finger through it and carry it like hello and then you drop it like how are you gonna find that bag what are you even gonna put in that bag it's better if you just don't bring a bag like this worrying about this little pouch thingy that you still call a bag no and like a lot of people are like trying to style them like trying to look bougie and like hold them over here hold them over there sis it looks like you're gonna eat the bag like the bag is so small just no it just looks so awkward and like most of the time if you're not trying to like show it off you can't even see it like if you're just walking along and holding a bag people can't even see it 
And like, say you go to like a restaurant, and you put it on the table. Like, low key, when I'm like having a bomb time at a restaurant, I'm just eating and living my best life, I'm going to forget about the bag. It's going to get buried under some food or it's just going to be thrown somewhere because I'm living my best life. Guys, like when you bring a bag somewhere, most of the time we even forget about our bag. We're like, oh, like it's like in sight. How are you even supposed to find this? Hello? What, like you're going to forget it in your Uber. Like you're going to forget multiple ones of those in your Uber. Guys, like off the scene, like I can't. These bags are like hundreds of dollars too. It's not even like the affordable ones are some like uh, dupes and stuff, but there's like the designer ones are hundreds of dollars. It's like you can't even fit a, like a tissue in it. It's, is it like a gun holder? Like, I don't know. I just can't with these bags. It's something else. Another trend that I just can't wrap my head around is jeans that have rips all over the back. I honestly love me some ripped jeans. I love me some ripped jeans more than the regular jeans, not gonna lie. But rips in the front, like you're, most of the time you're taking your pictures from the front so you could show those rips and those curves and all those nice stuff. But from the back, when you see those jeans have all the rips down the side, like did you just get attacked by a tiger? I, hmm, no, the honey, that's not cute. Like I don't know what the hell's going on back there. But it's not cute. Not at all. No. Like, I get it when there's, like, one rip underneath the, like, the butt or, like, one rip in the, like, the, at the back of your calf. Like, that's okay. That's a little stylish. But when the whole thing is basically shredded, you're doing too much, sis. You are doing too much. Like, what's the point of that? You, and most of the time, you're not going to take your pictures from the back. Sometimes when you're feeling yourself, maybe. But the majority of the time, this, you're not going to take your pictures from the back. Another one, guys, it's kind of like I don't see them as much as I used to a year ago. And, like, I really want to hop on this bandwagon at first because they looked so cute in pictures. They were everywhere. There's a whole bunch of, like, dupes and different versions of these. And those are those clear boots. Those clear boots that everyone was wearing, all the celebrities were wearing, and they looked so nice, and all you see is your foot, and if you have your nails did, like, oh my gosh, they just looked on point. But honestly, I've never seen those shoes on, like, myself or anyone else that I've actually loved, loved, besides the ones that, like, celebrities wear. Because there's so many, like, Things that can help them, like the lighting, the photographer, the editing, the angles. Like they could change their shoe every five minutes if they choose to. But in real life, if you wear those shoes, walk down the block, they're all going to fog up. Because your foot will start like sweating or it's just hot in there. And it's just going to look like a sausage in a can, guys. You know what I'm talking about? Like those little baby sausages in a can? When your foot is in that boot, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like this boot is going to pop because your foot, after wearing it for like, say, 30 minutes to an hour, starts getting all hot and it starts fogging up the clear um, plastic of the boot. Guys, it does not look cute. Like, by all means. Maybe, maybe, if you wear it for like, five minutes for a nice Instagram picture, after that, guys, go burn the shoes. Like, mm, no, can't wear those to the club, sis. You can't wear them anywhere else. Like, mm, I don't know... I don't know what's the purpose of them. Like, the, for a picture less than five minutes, go to the store, wear them, take a picture, you're good. Long term, mm. Guys, another trend that I've been seeing a lot lately, now that like we have spring and summer is coming up, are these tiny glasses, guys. They come in all different colors and everyone's rocking them and there's a whole bunch on sale on Amazon and all these other like fashion websites guys no offense to whoever loves these glasses whoever's jumping on that bandwagon you do you honey but honestly those glasses <laughs> like there's no sun blocking there there's no like they take up half of your eye it just looks like you're not you're just wearing these for the hell of it like for pictures whatever if you're trying to block out sun huh, next joke that's, that's not happening. Like, honestly, if you just, like, if they fall over, they're going to break. Because they're so tiny and flimsy. 
They barely even cover your eye. What is the point of these glasses? Like, I, when I just see them on, I just want to break them. Like, you know some of those things that you see and they're just so, like, tiny and just, like, ugly? Guys, like, I just hate these glasses so much. They don't make any outfit look cute. Honestly, in my opinion, they wreck every outfit. Even if you have the best outfit, designer luxury outfit, like Gucci, Prada, if you put on these glasses, burn, like, your outfit's trash now. No, nope, burn it. Uh-uh. Like, I'm over these glasses. Like, honestly, I can't. Every single pair of these I see, I just want to break because they're so ugly. And it's like, okay, like, I'm being dramatic. Like, maybe, like, it's better in black. Guys, even when I saw black ones in the store and silver ones, like, ones that can actually go with things, they're just as ugly. It doesn't get better. Even if you buy different colors, luxury, mm -mm, no. And then once the trend is over, next summer probably, <laughs> next joke if you're wearing them again. You're going to be too embarrassed to wear them again. You're going to look back and be like, did I actually buy these glasses? I, no. Just no. Okay. And the last, but certainly not least, because there's so many ugly products out there. Like, I can't even. Like, guys, if you want a part two... Leave a comment down below. I love doing these videos. There's so many ugly trends out there that I love to talk about. And if you haven't already, guys, go subscribe. Right over there, right over here, right above. It's everywhere. Go subscribe. Hit that little bell button. That way you get notified every single time I post new content on my channel. Okay, and that is... Guys, this trend isn't like an all-year-round thing. It's mainly around the holidays. But holiday suits, I can't stress enough how ugly holiday suits are. And the thing that kills me the most is I've had like maybe two people in my life wear these holiday suits, like go out of their way, purchase these holiday suits, spent their own money on these holiday suits, not against their own will, like they just freely went and bought these suits. And then they even asked me if these suits looked nice. Guys, I felt so bad. I wanted to scream laugh. You know those good scream laughs you get once in a while, like when your stomach hurts? <laughs> those are the type of laugh, those are the types of laughs I wanted to laugh when they asked me. But of course, I had to lie, like I felt bad, I didn't want to hurt them, oh my God. like you guys look good, you do you. Honestly, they rocked it, but personally, mm -mm. like I, like barf emoji guys, like bleh. no. Guys, the thing is, they come in all different patterns. Depending on the store, they get creative. It's like some of them are like Christmas themed and there's like a whole bunch of reindeer on it and it's red and green. And then sometimes if we're lucky, we even have Valentine's Day. And it's all these hearts and pink and red. And like stores, like all these like Urban Planet and Forever 21. And there's a whole bunch of different online retailers that sell them too. Like guys, they're everywhere. And honestly, I can't, like even in pictures, this, this suit does not look good. And even if you think you're not like doing yourself wrong, I'm just going to buy the blazer because I'm doing too much if I get the full suit. Ah, uh, honey, even the blazer is just doing too much. Like, mm -mm. if you want to be festive, mm, maybe get like a tie. But when you get like the suit, like my eyes just hurt. Just looking at my eyes hurt. Whether it's Valentine's Day, whether it's Christmas, whether it's Hanukkah, whether it's anything. I can't deal with these suits. They're so ugly. And the thing is, guys, it's not even like they're like, oh, like, they're pretty cheap. It's okay. Like, we'll wear it once, throw it out. Like, some of these suits are actually the price of, like, real suits. And some of them are, like, decently priced, but it's still, like, expensive for something so ugly. Yeah, I just can't. I just really can't with these suits. I know. Like, now, let's hope I never have to see them in person again. In pictures, it's fine. The store, I just walk away. But seeing them in person, it's just, it's too much for me. I can't. Anyways, guys, those are, were all the trends I feel that just need to, like, mm, like, bye. Get out of my life. Get out of our lives. And just on to the next year. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to let me know. Show me some love and support. I appreciate all these positive vibes, guys. Thank you so much for listening to me. And until next time.